Ideally speaking, each family has its own tent. And when the sons get married, they're given their own tent. The technology of tents of goat's hair was probably exactly the same in the time of Abraham. And of course, during the time of Lehi. Tent living in, in traditional Bedouin societies has been a very uh, kind of stable lifestyle because through trial and error over the centuries, the Bedouins have discovered the best way to do this. The tents that are mentioned so often when Nephi says, and my father dwelt in a tent, were, I would think, very similar to the tents of Bedouin today. The way they made tents was kind of interesting. You would weave, uh, generally camel's hair or sheep's hair, on these, you'd, you'd weave these long panels of, uh, of cloth and then sew them together into tents. So as the travel progressed, the women would be weaving on these small little looms creating these big strips of cloth that could then be bound together, tied up, and, and make new tents. Even though camels, camels aren't mentioned in the Book of Mormon, it's almost certain that, uh, that there were camels along on the trip with them. Camels are actually browsers. So the difference here is that they don't require a lot of grass. They don't require a lot of vegetation growing on the ground. The other unique quality about camels is that they can go long distances between feedings. So they don't have to eat every day. The hump of a camel is mostly composed of fat, not water. That allows them to go long distances without a lot of food. So the idea being, if you arrived at an oasis in the desert, you would spend some time there. You wouldn't hurry away from the oasis. You'd spend some time and you'd fatten up your camels and water them well and rest yourselves for a period of time, and then you'd make the jump to the next oasis. 